In this video, I'd like to introduce a really useful tool. It's called FZF for Fuzzy Finder, and it is an open source project that you can find on GitHub. It is quite popular, as you can see by the number of stars. And what's really great about this tool is that it can be used in any situation in which a command line uh, command outputs a list. It allows to search by a narrowing completion entries into a list, and then you can do all sorts of things with the result. The reason I'm talking to you about this tool right now, while we're in this Git course, is because amongst its countless usage, you can use it in combination with Git. And in the project, in the wiki of the FZF repo, you can find a lot of examples that have been contributed by many people. And there is a big section on Git where you can find many functions, some of which are truly useful. And I will demo one of them that I use all the time. So first, just to show you what FZF does in a very simple scenario, if I type the command history, it outputs the, my, my command line history. Now, if I pipe the output of history into FZF, it starts a menu with a prompt. And if I enter something at the prompt, it will narrow down to entries that contain what I am typing. For instance, the last time I entered command that used cedar, up there they are, and I can keep on searching. There are many options to FZF, so I encourage you to look at its man page. And you can really make it really powerful. And this is what I will show with this function here. So this is my uh, alias file for Zshell. But if you use bash, you could put a similar function in your .bash RC. And what this function does is that it starts from git log. Git log is the command that lets you output your commit history, showing the hash, the author, the date, and the commit message. But this git log command has lots of customization options, and I am using this here. This is a little alias that I have for uh, a similar customization. This shows the same history of my commits, but in a much nicer format. It's color coded. It's all condensed one line per commit. Uh, the date is in a much nicer format. So this is easier to navigate. And all of this is being piped onto FZF but FZF with some very fancy options. I'm uh, sorting and I'm color coding it and I will display a preview and some header that will show the information, the key binding information of some comments. And then I'm binding those keys to comments. And so what this function does is that it will allow me to search my git log, so my commit history, preview the commits, the content of the commits, both the message, but also all modifications in that commit. And when I find a commit I'm interested in, copy the hash to the clipboard. So first, you can see my clipboard. It is empty at the start of this demo. So I'm running this gcop and gcop obviously is just a name uh, that i gave this function but it, the the name doesn't matter so boom this is my git log nicely formatted uh, and customized but as you can see from the prompt at the top i am piping this into fzf and so I can navigate my commits up and down. They're ordered by date, initial commit being the very first commit on this project. 
And in this box to the right, that's a preview of that commit with the hash, the author, the date, uh, the commit message, the file that was being uh, modified here added, and the content of the modification. And you can see that for all entries. Of course, since we are within FZF, you can type something, for instance, shortcode, and this selects all of the commits that contain the word shortcode. And you can there again navigate. And if what you can see in this little preview isn't quite enough, the headers here that I entered with this option, this is where they end up. That's a reminder of what the key bindings are in this particular function. If I press enter, I will view the full commit. So let's try, enter, boom. Now I'm in the less pager with colors, which is nice, and I can navigate it just as I would any pager. I can search, uh, for instance, uh, URL, okay, book, 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 up, down. When I am satisfied, I have looked at everything I wanted to look at. Q for quit, just like a normal pa pager. And I am back in my main FZF window. And maybe that was the comment that the commit that I was interested in, because maybe I want to check out that commit, for instance. Well, control C to copy the hash. Control C. Now, if I open my clipboard, up the hash is down there. Great. Um, maybe I want to look for another commit. Oh, yes, this one. Great. Yes, that's the one. Yes, that's the one. Perfect. OK, Control C, tack. Now I have that second hash in my clipboard. Now, if I get out of there, up, I can pass that hash. And that can be useful in the context of another function. Or that other hash that I copied at first, there it is. And of course, you can create however many of these functions you want. One that can allow you to copy the hash like this one, or another one that allows you to check out whatever commit you want, another one that could allow you to, I don't know, um, copy the commit message or whatever you want. It's extremely flexible. And FZF, of course, is useful outside the context of Git. It's useful in countless contexts, but within Git, it's a really, really cool, powerful, uh, nice little tool. So that's what I wanted to show.